Hey everyone, how's it going? Well, we got the, it was raining today, so we put the 7120 in the shop and uh, we had the glass guys come out and put the, the window in that we broke last year. So it's finally good to get that window in and uh, uh, it won't be as noisy in there and we just had a piece of plastic over top uh, the window, but at least it's all in there and good now. They used their glue and everything. And I thought they were gonna use black sealant there, but they used silicone. Hmm. Well, I guess that don't matter. Anyway, this is the one where we broke, uh, we broke the side, the front window and the door window. I had the, the door window put in because it was, uh, you just cut the glass and because it's a flat window and just glued in. But this was a curved window. So we had to order it from Case, which is not cheap, not cheap at all. So yeah, we finally got that put in. It's gonna be nice. Won't be as noisy in the cab. So I'm glad we got that finished. But the bad thing is that the fiberglass piece right here did get damaged. Still got some tape on there. It's supposed to come up and then it sits right here. But uh, it, it did get damaged. It's, it's actually just, there's not not too much of that that had to get uh, buggered up. Probably about half an inch there got broke off. But the other piece that goes right here, which you can see on this side, got damaged. Yeah, this, this piece right here. That piece got damaged, and you would not believe the how much they want for that piece. It's like a thousand bucks. I was like, I, just, I, I almost fell out of my chair. Thousand dollars for that little piece. I'll make my own out of uh, sheet metal. So I'm just gonna uh, probably I'll cut down that fiberglass piece. Because I tried finding one at uh, Wreckers all over and I don't know, just gave up because they couldn't. Some of the older uh, Magnums had a different, a little bit of a different style and like they found some of those, but I don't know. I'm just gonna, I'll, I'll make something up pretty good. Uh, I even on the, the LT9000 manure spare truck that I bought has that bad fender. I'm gonna make something up with some uh, fiberglass there too. So, uh, not fiberglass, some sheet metal. So, uh, yeah, it was pretty hard to find stuff for some reason for this, but anyway. So, yeah, it's looking pretty nice. They got a little bit of glass to vacuum up again. We'll, me and Sean will uh, do the cab again. And then it'll be ready. We can uh, put another coat of paint on it. I had painted this... Uh, I had painted this tractor once, but we cheaped out and used cheap paint. It was case red, but it was it was uh, a lower quality. And just don't don't ever use low quality paint. Just it's just a waste of time. It looks good, and then it fades dramatically and and turns to a different color. So yeah, don't I I have used. Uh, Napa paints all the time, but I don't know why we just thought, opted to try out this cheaper paint and uh, it was just a nightmare. So we painted three tractors and it turned out to be just uh, like they look really good off the start and then they just go downhill quick. So yeah, see, it's, you can see how the door faded there. And actually, when I was pressure washing, uh, it, this is how the old the, that paint turns to and this is actually the old paint underneath so it didn't even stick that good and we sanded her down prepped it really good too it was a lot of work but we got to do it all over again and I'm going back to Napa paint so yeah just a quick video show you what we did today it's raining today we were uh, bailing second that second cut uh, Alfalfa yesterday, uh, the guys actually cut another field, about 60, 60 70 acres of it, yeah, about 60 again, and uh, they damn near got about 50 bales off it, so 
the, uh, the field where I made the video on the other day was straight alfalfa so it wasn't quite dry yet and they showed they didn't show rain in the forecast and then all of a sudden they showed rain in the forecast so uh, we got about a quarter of it bailed so if it's just this little rain on it it'll be fine so uh, what are we doing next uh, we're gonna have to ch change the header on the 4990 to the honeybee header and get the oil changed in the other swathers so yeah anyway thanks for watching make sure you subscribe and uh, leave your comments talk to you later